the city of Växjö want to become a fossil fuel free city. We don't want to contribute to the greenhouse effect anymore. And uh, therefore the politicians has, uh, have taken a unanimous decision uh, of um, becoming a fossil fuel free city. This was done after a, a, a cooperation with the biggest environmental organization in Sweden. And uh, we have also had a, a measurable target that uh, the CO2 emissions per capita shall be reduced by 50% until 2010 compared to 1993 and by 70% to 2025. And so far, we have reached uh, 30%, which is uh, tremendous. Summertime, we're going to two. But now we have some more overholding, so we are making more people. Let's listen. So, so, uh, For an ambassador who's concentrating on uh, the development of alternative energy, uh, it's very important to visit a city that has that aspiration and to see, as I did today at lunch, the uh, accomplishments that the city has had to, since 1990 to reduce their uh, reliance on fossil fuels almost completely in the electricity and heat sector and the plans they have to reduce it in the transportation sector as well. So um, this is both in Sweden and I think throughout the world one of the most advanced cities in terms of identifying that objective and then doing practical things one of which is this district district heating plant uh, to accomplish the goal. The district heat, if I could, instead of using electricity, produced by coal or something like that. That's a great idea. The main thing is that we have uh, left, uh, uh, gone away from oil and uh, replaced it with biomass in the heating sector. Um, uh, almost 90% of the energy used for heating here in the city is, uh, comes from renewable energy sources. And also a uh, lot, of, lot of the electricity is based on renewable energy. Uh, we have a little more to do in the transport sector, but also there we can see that the emissions is going down. Um, we have been able to give subsidies to people so that they will help us to reach the target by, uh, by throwing out their oil boilers and replace them with pellets boilers, for example.
Well, it's um, uh, eight stories high. It's the highest housing in Europe, I think, in wood construction. And, and um, we try to, to be in the front of the uh, development and, and uh, to expand the use of, of uh, wood construction. Uh, we are living in a region of uh, forests, so it's quite important for the economy and for the environment.